Hey everybody, Aaron Swindle with Sky Song Soundworks. Try to say that fast three times. I wanted to create this tutorial to help the uh, people that are new to flight simulation, help them to uh, install their add-ons. And as you know, I've been creating uh, the uh, sound packages, the add-ons, for about the last 16 years. And I get asked the question all the time, where do I put the new sounds? Well, let's jump into it and I'll show you. You've downloaded a file. Uh, whether it be uh, you know a commercial or a freeware usually comes in a zip file if you don't have a copy of WinZip I highly recommend it you almost can't get along without it in the flight simulation world I think the license runs about thirty dollars a year it's a must-have alright you've downloaded your file we double click our WinZip file what you're looking for inside here is the executable a lot of times people that create add-ons will put in uh, an install readme use it read, you know read the documentation usually um, it, saves, it saves you a lot of time so we're going to double click our executable that's going to bring up a splash screen great looking uh, DC3 or it might be a C47 I'm not sure so we're going to click next actually in this uh, particular instance I have put the tips I put the notations here in the installer to help you navigate so we're going to hit next you have to agree you just can't bargain with these guys so you hit next again here I've gone ahead and started the navigation uh, process for you C which is your hard drive program files which is where all your programs reside Microsoft games that's the beginning and then you're gonna have to finish the navigation yourself so we go to Microsoft games we're looking for the particular simulator that we're gonna install the sounds in this instance we're gonna use Flight Simulator 9, we're looking for our aircraft. Which aircraft are we looking for? We're looking for the DC-3. Not as fast as I used to be. There we go. Looking for our sound folder. There she is. Click OK. Hit your Next. It's going to tell you that it's going to decompress the files into that folder you just chose. We hit Start. There they go. They're in there. says it was successful. You click Next. Hey, you're done with that part of it. I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to go directly to the drive and show you a couple of things that I think are important that you need to know as a new sim pilot. Again, we're going to computer, C drive, come down here and find our program files. Go down here and find Microsoft Games. Scroll that up so it's easier to look at. Microsoft 9, and we're looking for our aircraft. There we go. Again, we find the DC-3. As you can see, I've created a backup folder here uh, for my old sounds. So you go to your sound folder, you click on the top one, hit your shift key on your keyboard, click the bottom one, it highlights all of them. You can just drag them over into the sound backup. Okay, You can do this process before you begin the install, that way you don't have a cluttered bunch of unnecessary files in that particular sound folder. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to show you is there's a little bit of a difference between Microsoft Flight Simulator 9 and 10. Here it is. When you click Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, you don't immediately get the aircraft folder. You have to go down here to Sim Objects. There's your airplanes. Then it's just the same drill. You click on your aircraft. Uh, and to create your backup folder, go to File, New. We want what? We want a new folder and we type in sounds backup there you go uh, that's essentially the what I wanted to show you about, about this part of the process because it just keeps you from uh, cluttering up your drive also with the WinZip process I wanted to show you that while I was doing this click your top file again shift key click your bottom one right click Go to your WinZip, add to zip file. You can either just use the one, the default that they give you, or you can go here to zip file. You have to put a name in here. We're going to name it something like DC3 Sounds. I just use SNZ.zip. You have to put the .zip, add. It's going to compress all the files for us. Puts in a nice little package. It will tell you uh, what you compress the files too. We did it from 17 and a half to 15.9 so you got a, a little bit of space savings there. There we go 
and there's your nice new little DC3 sounds package. I think that WinZip is probably one of the best programs to come along for us flight simmers because we deal with such large groups of files and so many different types of uh, uh, add-ons. It's just a great, uh, a great thing there. There we go. This is my first visual tutorial. I hope I didn't bore you. I hope this helps you somehow. And I'd like to take a minute uh, to thank uh, Nels Anderson of FlightSim.com. I've been on the site so long I can't even remember back that far. I'm not saying he's old, but you get it. <laughs> okay, hope that helps you out some. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Blue skies to you.